What's up, rock stars? It's Rox, and I am coming to you today with a review for Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 9, Episode 15. So let's get to it, shall we? All right, you guys, so let's get Kenya out of the way first because it's such foolishness. So her brother is in town, and he has his three kids with him, his two daughters and his son, visiting Kenya. She said that they didn't grow up together because her father had found a new wife and went to make a new home with her. So she didn't get to have much time with her um, brother, so it's always good when she gets to spend time with him now. He doesn't live in... Georgia obviously so yeah she's happy that they're there she's hoping that her brother will let her take care of him for like a couple of weeks I guess on their summer break the brother is just like uh yeah I don't know two weeks is a long time so in order to further argue her case she goes on to tell him about the dramatics that she's having with her stupid ass boyfriend Matt I was just like oh yeah because usually fathers want their kids to go to an unstable ass home where niggas busting out windows and carrying the fuck on like I said Kenya girl you is crazy girl he ain't gonna let you keep them kids especially now and then when you listen to her talk it's always the same thing I know he would never lay a hand on me I'm sorry anybody that can fuck up some walls and windows and stuff like that your face can't be too far behind and we already know how Kenya is she good at pushing buttons them two together is a is a terrible, it's a terrible situation just waiting to happen. I mean, it's already happened once. A, I was just like, girl, she, he ain't fixed to let you watch them kids at all. You know, he trying to tell her like we've all been trying to tell her. You need to leave him alone. I mean, fuck, do you have enough time to be sitting around and taking breaks, waiting for him to grow up? I mean, he's the same age as her brother. He was just like, you know, this ain't going to work. But uh, in the meantime, you keep on fucking with him, you definitely won't be having these kids. <laughs> Kenya is so crazy. <laughs> Let's jump on over to Candy. So Candy is having the girls over to the house. So, you know, Cynthia, Kenya, Sheree, um, even Shamia over to the house because she wants to let them in on this conversation that she just had with Portia. Candy knows that Shamia is going to have an issue, but she don't give a fuck. Shamia is going to be loyal to Portia, but she needs to know that her friend is over there lying about me and I just need to get a few things off my chest. So Candy just lays it all out on the fucking line, okay? It's obvious them girls did not know about all of this going on. So she was just like, uh, yeah, there was this kiss. We was at a club. Shamia was there as well. And basically, uh, she told me that she wanted to eat me until I came. Child, them girls fell out. That was like, oh, my God. It ain't nothing like a good-ass glass of tea on a Saturday afternoon, you know. So she's telling them what happened, and they just cannot believe it. All this fucking time, Portia been sitting up here getting her lesbian on with candy, and they didn't even fucking know it. Let me back up. Everybody is screaming but Shamia, okay? Because Shamia says that... Uh, um, yeah, she was there when they was at this after hour spot, but um, she just kind of feels like she's in between, like she's in the mess. But Candy is on a full roll now, okay? So she's just like, yeah, and then she said, like, I had a seven-year relationship. I was like, with who? Girl, you just sat there and made that up. And then it was on to the sex dungeon. Cynthia was just like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Like, something is really wrong with Portia, okay? Because for her to be lying about shit like this, then that's when they flash back into that shit with Peter. Remember? I told you guys that the fact that Portia was so adamant that Peter was messing with one of her friends but would never give a name and everything. Uh, yeah, I was just like, yeah. This right here brings into question all of the shit, the accusatory shit that Portia has said. She's the one that really has had a good hand in fucking up Cynthia and Peter's marriage. Then Candy tells them that Portia was talking about how, you know, Candy and Todd tried to drug her, or her and Shamia, and bring her back to the, um, to the sex dungeon, and they was all like, you are fucking kidding me. I do not have a sex dungeon. You done went from little old Candy Burress Tucker that sells bedroom candy to a full-on roofie rapist. <laughs> I can't take it. When I tell you I have never seen anybody lie like that in my life. In the meantime, we also get Portia 
at her sister's house telling her sister pretty much the same story. How, um, you know, she went off on Candy a second time. She didn't really want it to go that way, but that's what happened. And basically, you know, they were out one night, you know, and drinking and having a good time. And she don't know how many drinks she had. And she can't remember that kind of shit. Maybe she did kiss her and offer to fuck her, you know, and lick, uh, eat her till she comes. So nasty. Why we can't just say face in the place? Why y'all say face in the place? But it's so funny because Portia has gone from just last episode to absolutely not. She didn't want to eat little tiny tots pussy to now all of a sudden, maybe I did, you know, blame it on the henny. <laughs> Now, what you're not going to do is sit up here and think that we going to buy this damn story, Portia. I mean, it just it's just so crazy now that something so small has blown up into something so big. See, this is the thing with lying. Once you start telling lies, then you have to keep lying. If you tell the truth, the truth always stays the truth. But the lies, because the story don't make sense, it starts to wrap around something else. And then you got to be making up shit like that. That lying is fucking tiresome. You know, she get to telling her sister about Todd just this past weekend being in New York and introducing himself as Marvin. How do you know this, Portia? The girl called you two days after the nigga left and was just like, you don't know me, but um, Todd was out here calling himself Marvin and trying to fuck me. I'm just like, I mean, even if you did get that story two days later, just a few days later, no, it's just ridiculous. And then this whole thing about being drugged, the sister's like, oh, so, you know, talking about just having a good little, you know, I kissed a girl and I liked it, college girl fun, to now all of a sudden, you know, she full on build a pill, you know, no, this is, something ain't right here. Yeah, something ain't right because your sister's fucking lying. Anyways, enough of that right now. Okay, the OLG, fingers crossed. We should be about to launch OLG in about a month. <laughs> I don't know when that month is. Maybe a month from today, as in uh, March 6th. I bet you they're going to probably line up the opening, actually, with when this show goes off, now that I think about it. But anyway, Candy goes to talk to her man, and it's just about, you know, everything has fallen into place now, so she feels a little less relieved, but she's still fucking stressed out. She's a new mom. She already is a regular mom. All right, she got this drama with the fucking restaurant. She got this drama with Portia. It's just too much on her, okay? And Todd was just like, well, you know what? Why don't we just take a vacation? I know this ain't the best time, but when the restaurant opens, we really ain't going to be able to get away. So maybe we need to try to fit something in now. What you think about Hawaii? Hawaii don't sound too bad to Candy. Can she take the girls? I was like, what the fuck? Can you take the girls? Because you didn't get no vacation with them last year. Now all of a sudden, your man is suggesting a, you know, a quick little getaway. And you want to take them fucking messy assholes? Absolutely not. But I get it. It's for the show. This is Candy's year to propose the big trip. So he was just like, I don't really want to go with you and your girls. But if I can bring some of the guys along, then maybe. If I can bring Peter and, you know, Bob, I fucks with Bob. What about Phaedra? You going to take your girl Phaedra? Well, if we bring Phaedra, then she going to want to have to bring her little buddy Portia. And I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. He doesn't blame her. Fuck, Portia's the one that's giving his wife the most grief. She up here making up stories about dungeons and Marvins and whatnots. Shit, if she does come, then I know one thing. She need to prove the shit. If she say it's true, she need to prove it. Now, we get a very interesting scene. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. But uh, Candy and Cynthia and Phaedra, they go out for lunch. You know, Candy still does not know that Phaedra was the one who inserted Shamia into the drama by saying that Shamia and Candy was fucking. See, Phaedra has conveniently left herself out of the mix because she's not trying, well, let her tell it. She's not trying to fan the flames and make shit any worse. But see, she said it. She ought to know that shit don't go away on Bravo. I have a feeling that she thinks that it was edited away or that they didn't capture it. But um, of course we know because Sheree keeps bringing it up. Like, I'm not sure why uh, Phaedra's not saying anything. It's interesting that Sh Sheree is not saying anything about Phaedra. I have a feeling it's because she's trying to, you know, wait until it's this great big blow up probably going to happen at the reunion. Anyway, Candy is trying to 
extend the hand of friendship i guess and she tells them that she's planning this trip to hawaii they're like who's all coming so she lays out the out the the names of people that's going to be coming she throws in there peter because todd wants peter to come cynthia says that that would be strange considering that they're going through their divorce so she don't know how she feel about that and then phaedra goes on to express that uh yeah i'm not real sure either because todd don't like me uh, peter don't like me so you know maybe it's just not gonna be that comfortable for me unless I can bring my girl Portia, the Frank to my Frick. Then I would have somebody, you know, that I can hang with. Candy is just looking at her like, that's fine. I ain't got to talk to her. <laughs> oh, I was thinking in my mind, yeah, Candy, right. You know, you still got a lot to say to that fucking Portia. But I just gave my real tight side eye to Phaedra when she said she don't have a cock in this fight. So she just going to keep her mouth shut. I bitch, I bet you, you the fuck are. That's what you've been doing this whole damn season. Poor Portia been fighting battles left and right. Okay, and here go Phaedra just as mums the word as a wannabe. Later on, we see Portia and Phaedra. They're at some clinic or something getting some different little shit done to their skin okay whatever after they get that done um phaedra tells portia that uh, she wants her to go with her on the girls trip to hawaii and she was just like okay so let me think we got teapot we got instigator we got flip flop and then we got messy so why exactly do i want to come because you're the frack to my frick and we got to have a good time and you know they gonna all be with their people and i just need somebody to be with me so portia was just like yeah i know i shouldn't even be going into battle like this but that's fine i'm gonna go because they told me i have to fucking go <laughs> <laughs> so the trip okay they all get to the airport well cynthia and peter get there first and it's uncomfortable for them they say but i'm thinking to myself cynthia girl you got this last little minute you probably ain't gonna be getting none for a while you might as well go and fuck peter while you're out there like some of all peter and cynthia don't ring to me that they 100 broke up anyway so i was just like mm. kenya gets there candy <laughs> surprise surprise is on time i guess it was her trip she couldn't show up late bob gets there with his compression socks on, you know. I guess he was just like a nigga big and, you know, I got health issues. I cannot afford to get no pulmonary embolism out here and put my damn socks on and sit my ass on this plane. And then they don't, I'm not sure that Sheree uh, is going to make it because she's stuck in traffic. But at the last minute, Sheree makes it. Okay, so this is group A. They get on to Hawaii when they get on the, um, the, the, the bus to go to the resort that they're going to be staying at. You know, Candy was just like, well, I saw that Portia and Phaedra posted a picture on Instagram. So I was just like, baby, don't even worry about it, okay? If she want to come, come. If she going to bring some shit with her, bring the shit, okay? We ready, whichever way she want to come. And Candy was just like, all right, Marvin. <laughs> So group A, they sit down with the um, flamethrower, you know, the fire twirler that's part of like usually the luau's. They, they do a little show for them um, just before they go get into their rooms and then get ready for dinner. They said that it is 2 a.m. Atlanta time. This I couldn't figure out why the fuck they was recording this day. This must really be a quick trip because why wouldn't you let these people sleep? So everybody could be in a, you know, a functionable mood the next day and then they would go on and get the shit going. So, but no, honey, they got there and we was going to get that shit popping that night. So if it's 2 a.m. in Atlanta, you know, by the, when they were doing that, by the time they sat down to that dinner, it had to be good 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe even 5 o'clock in the morning in Atlanta. I'm telling you, I am a disagreeable ass bitch at 5 o'clock in the morning if I haven't had any sleep. They go to their rooms, they get ready for this dinner, and uh, they get on down there to the dinner. Candy, Todd, Bob, Sheree ma makes it eventually. Cynthia and Peter. Then all of a sudden, we see Portia and her man Todd walk up. Now, I thought Portia was supposed to be there for Phaedra, but uh, she was just like, you know, I had to bring my man with me because Todd, if he want to talk to a man about something that happened, then he can talk to him. I was just like, what? What Todd's got to do with any of this shit? Okay, I'm talking about Portia's Todd. Good Todd need to go sit his dumb ass down over there and be quiet. But she walks up and, you know, she's just like, hello. And nobody really says anything. And she's just like, oh, well, look at that welcome. But they sit down. It's small talk, okay? Uh, Portia tells them that it's Todd's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, we celebrate his birthday today, too. So everybody's just like, you know, fake cheers. Like, oh, okay, you know, happy birthday. Congratulations. You know, Candy over there mumbling. Well, I can't get myself together. I keep on trying, but I can't really do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that Candy wants to get to it. She's just not sure exactly how to go about it. With Portia telling everybody about these drugs could potentially ruin my life. 
I have to tell everybody that this bitch is full of shit. So yes, I got some shit for this bitch today. So the girls are all sitting there and then, you know, Phaedra pulls up the rear. Okay, she's seated right next to Peter. She was talking about how, you know, she gonna have drama with Peter. I said, baby, this is not the drama you about to get tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so Peter, you know, you wouldn't be right if he don't throw one little messy jab in there. He was just like, uh, so Kenya, why you didn't bring Matt? How about this bitch said that Matt is at the house watching the fucking dog? I said, what? You mean to tell me that this nigga didn't okay to be on dog watch duty instead of being on a beautiful vacation with his woman on some nice island at a resort? See, this is where the immaturity comes in with Matt. He's stupid. Why the fuck are you watching her damn dog talk about she couldn't find anybody to watch? PetSmart have a grooming um, and hotel room and board. There's plenty of them around. Your dog will be safe and taken care of. So I'm talking about she got Matt there. I was like, this nigga, you know he is a fool for that. I sure hope she just used his name and that that shit wasn't true. So anyway, after they sitting there and it's blah. Okay, nobody's really saying anything. And like I said, it's fucking almost 5 o'clock in the morning at Atlanta time probably by now. So, Sheree, you know, the bone carrier, she gets it started. Well, you know, I just, I just hate that that news came out about Candy on the uh, glamping trip. I said, bitch, you hate it, but you was the one that put it out there. So what the fuck you mean you hate it? Because Sheree, Sheree, stop it. So she was like, you know, I just feel like, you know, we need to get it all out in the open um, so that we can all enjoy this trip. Because that is the reality show anthem. They all feel like if you just get it out, then everybody will be fine. But um, history has shown that that does not fucking work. So they get to it. Charade tells Portia, well, Portia, everybody thinks that you say slanderous things. Not true. Cynthia says, yeah, it's the lies that you talk about candy. I didn't lie. You stick into that, huh? Oh, so what you did was you went back and reported to everybody what was said? Yes, absolutely. I am not a liar. Cynthia was just like, yeah, of course, it kind of sounded like the shit you were saying was a bunch of lies. So you sticking to that story that I drugged you and tried to take you back and do something to you? Look, you said some things about me and I said some things about you. You lied and I told the truth. Candy was just like, okay, well, listen, okay, I want you all to know that this is a bitch is a fucking liar, okay, she does not tell the truth. She said that we was trying to do something to her and Shamia, and that is not the truth. That we was going to drug you and take you back to our sex dungeon, and Portia was just like, no, I didn't say that. I said that somebody told me that you told them that you said... I said, girl, now it ain't what you said. It's what somebody else. It's them fucking streets. Them same ones that Joyce talked to, obviously. <laughs> Candy was just like, she's a lying ass bitch. She was at the club and said she wanted to eat me until I came. <laughs> Did you guys see that fucking boyfriend? Todd was sitting over there. I know he wanted to put the fucking invisible finger up at church. Like, kind of just excuse himself. You he had to look a fucking fool. I said, boy, you was molded. Thought you was coming here with your girl and their big titties and the big booty, okay? And just having a good time and laughing and kiki and come to find out that your bitch has been a fool whole lesbian out here with somebody at the fucking table. I'm sure he didn't know all of this because he was just sitting there looking like, uh... Portia gonna make her shit worse by saying, I was drunk, you were sober. So I was just like, yeah, that makes it even worse. You blaming it on the alcohol, trying to act like you didn't know what you was doing. So Candy was like, I got one for you on that one too, since you want to act like you didn't know what the fuck you was doing. Uh, this here is a screenshot of a text message from back two years of fucking ago, <laughs> uh, where she actually knows exactly what she was doing, okay, where she says that I was not going to rape you, okay, what happens in wherever they were, stays in whatever they were, you know, all of this, okay? So Candy was like, she knew very well exactly what she was doing. Portia, she you're over there like what is so what what does that prove what is that that don't prove anything and no when you really read the text message it doesn't really prove anything other than the fact that Portia did know what she was doing if she's lying about her just being so out of her mind drunk then what else is she lying about candy says they was at one club that she wants to go to another club so she could push up even more because she was the aggressor she is the b in lgbt cynthia keeps jumping in and, and uh, saying how she needs proof and all of that and um Portia gonna tell her honey her proof was in her divorce decree i said ooh, ooh. now we know cynthia ain't no fighter but she'd have got her ass cussed out trying to be cute and smart with my ass like that but she shut cynthia down real fast but anyway Portia's still going on saying some shit left about candy and todd y'all know the candy her her meter is all the way up to here phaedra 
on the other end, she tries to bring some level, you know, tries to level it out. And Candy was just like, Phaedra, she said I had a sex dungeon. If I had one, I would have told everybody because I don't care. The part that matters, Phaedra, is this girl tried to turn it around and say that I drugged her. Sheree, do you hear this lie? Sheree was just like, girl, I didn't know it was going to get like this. Now, we talking libel? Candy should sue her fucking ass if she keeps up with that mess. And Candy even told her that. I'm going to sue your motherfucking ass. He keeps saying it. And, you know, Candy, uh, Portia, that's her right if she want to say it. Candy was like, bitch, you could have had a fucking right to stop lying up in this motherfucker. Because Candy's whole thing is she is not telling the truth. Candy wants to clear her name. I don't blame her. When you start talking about drugs and shit, that's a whole different something else. We ain't heard nothing about nothing drugs until now right okay Portia was just like well you should have thought about that you wanted to come at me telling my business so I had to make up some shit to talk about you to make you look just as bad if not worse Peter tried to even stop it jump in but the shit had then went too far by now Candy was all the way done let's be clear Phaedra you know I like to have fun you know I like to have fun but one thing I would not do is have no drugs or nothing I said uh oh not the out of breath Candy y'all know she be mad when she get out of breath and for her to put that out there on me oh my god it took everything in me not to go and drag this bitch <laughs> that candy is good and hot candy is not lying i'm sorry people when they know they done did some shit they be kind of weird wishy-washy in it but when they know that they telling the truth I'm sorry, I just don't see Candy. I know Candy didn't did a whole lot of shit, and Candy, you know, it's dibble dabbled and had fun and all that. But this shit about the drugs, for sure. Portia made it up. See, that's what I told y'all about lying all the fucking time. You keep on lying, and you start building more and more stories that get more and more ridiculous, and more and more people don't believe you. This is how we feel about Portia right now. I'm sorry. Portia's lying. This shit done went way too far, way too left. It's too bad that it's like this. I told y'all at the beginning of the season, I didn't like that they was going in this direction. But we here now, child. We here. <laughs> child, I didn't sweat to death. Let me get on back to work, you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Miss Rocks. The channel is Forest Rocks. Everything else I do will be in the bottom bar. All right, all right. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I plan on doing the same. Till next time, Rock Stars. Bye.